Hello everybody, so so many of you requested another study with me so I thought I would do one today. Um, I'm not on a revision timetable today like I have been for the rest of Easter just because I had so many things that I wanted to finish rather than being restricted by a time limit. So it's more, you know, just casual but first thing I do in the morning is have some breakfast. I don't usually eat breakfast in school time but on study leave I do because if not I won't eat the rest of the day. Um, and then I spent about an hour maybe an hour and a half I was really struggling this morning I just sort of read the news watched the news I love the news okay like it's all I ever do then I just brush my teeth wash my face all of that sort of stuff and then I got into studying at nine o'clock but before I study I had like made myself a list of the week for the weekend of stuff that I needed to do that weekend specifically because I was getting a bit stressed at all the stuff that I hadn't quite finished over Easter and I know that I'm not going to finish it all because as you can see the list is just ridiculous um so I was just putting stars next to the things that I really wanted to do that day <laughs> did I do them no I didn't but hey that's okay so first thing I did was politics because my politics teacher set us this like politics booklet which is so annoying because I've already revised the topic over Easter so I guess it's testing my knowledge or whatever but like it was just a bit annoying and it took me two hours and 50 minutes two hours and 50 minutes um I mean I suppose they're quite useful but it's just such effort so I put Beauty and the Beast on if you can hear noise in the background that's because Lizzie's on FaceTime with me so just ignore her please thanks anyway um but yeah it took me absolutely ages uh, I just wrote out the answers um tried not to use any books or whatever um and just sort of tested my knowledge um my yeah uh yeah that's basically all I did with this it took absolutely ages though um which was really depressing um very very depressing indeed but that's okay because you know at least I've revised the two topics which I haven't done for the other side of government so I mean it's more than I can say for that um and these are really useful if you do politics so if you do politics then you can get them online or ask your teacher for them uh I suppose I give them a solid 7 out of 10 for usefulnessness usefulnessness and I'm not on my phone here I'm just checking the answers for the workbook just to triple make sure that I'm not forgetting stuff which I was but hey it's cool it's absolutely fine because you know I keep telling myself I've got the whole of May half term to revise for politics, so it's not that deep. Um, so that's why uh, that's why I try not to do too much of it compared to my other subjects. So then I just packed all of that away because honestly I was just sick of GovP1 at this point because I swear I feel like it's all I've done this holiday and I just can't remember the statistics no matter how hard I try, I can only remember the stupid ones. But hey, it's fine. That's going away. It's going out my life. Bye-bye. Adios. And I just tick that off my list. That's done. It's gone. It's great. It's a nice feeling taking stuff off your list. And then I was like deciding what I wanted to do. But before that, I got some food because literally that exhausted me. Two hours, 50 minutes that took me. Uh, and I gave myself a 10 minute break because usually I do three hours on, one hour off um, when I'm doing a revision timetable. And I'll do like either six hours, eight hours, or nine hours, depending on like how much I really feel like I need to do. Um, but today I was just sort of going with my own pace and going with the flow because I feel like I've exhausted myself a bit over Easter. So I just replied to some comments on my new video which came out yesterday uh, and so many of you were asking for a study with me which I thought was quite funny. Then I just watched this, a couple of YouTube videos. There was a really funny parody of Theresa May um, which just makes me laugh because it's so true. Um, yeah, I'm not going to make any political comments in this video because it's a study with me video. But I do think it's really important to eat your food. So make sure you eat your food in the day. Uh, and then I went on to English Lit. So the first thing I did was I just got out my iPad and I typed down as many quotes as I could remember because the day before I'd done Alonso and Gonzalo from The Tempest. I'd made a mind map. So I was just trying to refresh my mind on the quotes. Um, and I managed to get most of them, which was good. Uh, I was quite impressed with myself. It's actually quite depressing studying at the moment because I feel like I, I really get it when I'm doing it and then looking back on it, I feel like I remember nothing. Like right now, I'm not sure if it's because my brain is fried or whatever. But I just feel like I don't remember any of the quotes, to be honest. But hey, it's fine. It's not my problem right now. <laughs> Eve is not studying at the moment. Uh, and then I just checked against the mind map um, and just made sure that I hadn't missed any. I'd missed a few, but like obviously I can't remember every single quote that is useful because my brain just can't hold that many quotes but I had enough quotes um I just find typing them out at the start of each revision session just keeps it fresh in my head and my aim is to have a mind map for each character done for the tempest by study leave and then over study leave I can just go over them and write some past papers and that's about it that's kind of all I'm planning um so today I was doing Ariel 
uh, if you don't know, Ariel is uh, the spirit in the Tempest. So I was just going through, I tend to do my mind maps for English as like different perspectives. So like Ariel, I had how he represents Prospero's conscience, how he facilitates Prospero's magic, um, how he brings out human aspects in Prospero, whether he's human himself, um, the whole master-servant relationship in comparison to Cowboy, just stuff like that. Um, and what I do is I write it out, I just go through my text, find bits with Ariel in, pick the quotes that I like the most, put those on in green, then I have contextual analysis in orange, um, general analytical points in in just pen, and then pink points are for like critics' interpretations or like interpretations of the of the show itself, if that makes sense. So like different performances of the show. Uh, and then I just go through the revision guides. To be honest, for A-level, I really don't think revision guides are that useful. I mean, there are a couple of points that you can sometimes get from them, um, especially critical perspectives, I think they're quite useful for because they just have it all in one place. There was a few really good critics quotes in here about Ariel representing um, Prospero's conscience and Ariel representing like the power of creativity and imagination, which I never would have thought of. Um, so yeah, I mean, looking back on this now, I really can't feel like I can't remember any of it. This is my issue, is I just want to remember everything I do, and I can't, and it's very frustrating. Um, so after that, I went on to Gatsby. Oh, fun. Um, I've revised all of the characters in Gatsby at least once between Mox and now, so I'm just going over, like, symbols, motifs, and, like, setting, because sometimes I feel like those can be a lot more analytical than just analysing the characters, so I was doing about, um, obviously the green light and stuff, but more, like, niche ones, sort of, like, dust, water, um, clothing, owl eyes, things like that that aren't the obvious ones because I obviously I did the obvious ones but what I tend to do with notes like this is I write down what I can remember first so write down the quotes that come to my head, write down the analysis that comes to my head then I go on to the websites and revision guides and get stuff from there um, the issue with English is that you can't learn analysis so I find that if I'm just writing stuff out it makes me feel better that I know more than I actually do <laughs> um, and then I was just going over my notes that I've made the last couple of days um, they were on setting clothing and motifs and just highlighting the quotes in pink and then underlining analysis honestly I don't really like I, I don't usually do this this isn't my sort of revision method I don't really learn very well from doing that but you know, I didn't really have anything else I could do. Then I went downstairs to get some food and I was just stalking my parents in the back garden lol. The back garden's looking very summery at the moment. Um, very nice. And I went to go and get my mini eggs out of my mini egg Easter egg to find that my family had eaten them. Literally what? I'm so offended. Like, genuinely offended. So I stole their mini eggs from the side, so it was all good. Then I went back upstairs and did a little bit more Gatsby, because um, I feel like I've neglected Gatsby, I've neglected Chaucer so badly this holiday, um, in favour of The Tempest and Streetcar. To be honest, I swear, I've done so much English this holiday, and I don't really feel like I've learned anything, but that's okay. It's fine, I'm just going to, I'm going to stop stressing, this is just stressing me out. Um, I was just going through my quote cards that I made in the Christmas holidays, um, these were on the American Dream and European Values. Um, so basically I was just reading them out, typing down the points on my notepad. I mean, I'll never look at these again, but I find that typing stuff out, writing stuff out in my own words again, just really helps me do it. And I was adding stuff to them as well that I feel like I've missed back in, back in, uh, back at Christmas when I was all dumb and didn't know anything. Um, and I was just typing out as many quotes as I could remember as well before I looked at the flashcards. Um, but I find again with Gatsby, with English, I do find it's really useful to just know your quotes because if you understand the books, you can kind of make up the analysis on the spot, but you need to know your quotes. Like, I know my Gatsby quotes off by heart. Um, and then I went on to German because I felt like I'd neglected languages and my German speaking is literally in three days and I'm actually going to cry. But I was looking at the Perspectiven videos, which are on Caboodle. They've put them on for all the languages, and they're just um, little conversation chat shows about different aspects of the culture and things. So I was just writing down notes for all of those, and I also write down key phrases that they say, just really useful phrases, and highlight them in pink. I mean, I might not use them, but I thought on Tuesday night before the exam, I can try and like work some of them into my answers when I'm speaking. Because for speaking, I always find that saying certain phrases over and over again, they just become part of your vocab but I'm actually gonna fail my speaking exam guys it's actually a joke like I just keep putting off revising for it because I just know I'm gonna tank it so that's great but that's cool it's fine it's... basically 
the optimism isn't here at the moment, okay? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I was just messed about on Caboodle. Um, I always highlight the, the German phrases in pink and just leave the general notes. I find the German girl that does the reports, she's got a very like mumbly voice. It's really difficult to understand her. Anyway, so then I went outside because it was so sunny and I just didn't want to sit inside any longer and I needed to do some vocab because on my list today it said to do Chaucer, but I really wasn't in the mood for any more English lit. So I thought, no, I'm going to do my vocab today instead. So I was just sat on my chair in the garden um, doing Quizlet. Now, sometimes I'll just do it as flashcards and then I star the ones that I don't know and go back over them. Other times I do it as type it out, it depends on my mood. Then I had some dinner, had some curry, it was nice. I went upstairs and finished the vocab. I aimed to do topic four, five and six today, but I only managed four and five because I was getting really tired and I just thought there was no point um, in doing that. And my jaw is going crazy, it's because I'm chewing gum. And please ignore how trampy I look today, it's an actual joke. I've looked like a tramp the whole whole, whole day. Um, So yeah, I was just doing vocab 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 um quizlet's the best i don't know what i do without it and then i decided to finish the constitution half of the constitution and judiciary topic because i've done all of my gov p one topics but i've only done half of parliament and half of constitution and judiciary so i just wanted to get constitution half done so i can do judiciary in the two weeks before study leave um, but to revise politics, I basically cover up the bit of the mind map and then I've got a post-it note with all the different titles on and then I will write out everything I can remember, then check and see what I've missed. But my mind maps are a bit too detailed so I don't get too stressed if I don't, if I miss stuff. But yeah, uh, I'm having a bit of a breakdown about politics at the moment because I just feel like I learn it and it just goes in one ear and out the other and I just can't remember the specifics. But basically... I've realised that when I'm actually revising, I feel so productive and then at the end of the day, I feel like I've done nothing. It's, it's a vicious cycle, guys. It's a vicious cycle, but it's okay because it's A-levels. I feel like that's what it's supposed to be like. Um, but yeah, I was just doing this for ages and ages and ages. No, I'm only kidding. I did it for like 45 minutes. And then I highlighted the stuff that I didn't manage to do today, which was some Chaucer quotes, um, some Spanish speaking revision and something else. What else was it that I didn't do? parliament revision but I'm gonna do those tomorrow it's okay because I didn't set myself much work for tomorrow then I went through the constitution revision guide that my teacher so lovingly sent us hashtag bay um but then that just stressed me out more because I felt like I didn't know any of it even though I do oh, I'm actually f***ing politics swear to god oh oh my day put me list there for tomorrow not for today because lord knows i see the end for that i always feel like i know politics and then i don't right what was the source of the constitution statute law common law conventions eu law works for authority okay no it's all right i do know it i just i'm just overthinking it Freedom of Information Act, Constitutional Reform Act. Try to do check and order form work. Nick tries to do check and order form. Fixed term Parliament Act. Governance of Britain paper. Right forms. Westminster Hall sittings. I think I forgot something. What I'm Cabinet manual. Ministerial code. Civil service code. Human Rights Act. Oh my god. Who forgets How the did you Act? forget the Human Rights Act, Eve? Basically, yeah. So I just wanted to put that at the end just because. I don't want you all thinking, because when I watch study with me videos, I get really stressed thinking that, oh, the person's so productive and everything that they've revised that day, they know really well or whatever. I don't, I'm human, I revise stuff, I forget stuff. It all happens like that. And I just want to put this at the end to say, I know I look like I've been really productive, but then I don't feel like I've been productive. So just because someone else looks like they're being productive doesn't necessarily mean that they feel like they're on top of their lives or whatever so don't get stressed out by revision youtubers like me that look like they're doing loads when they are doing loads but they might not feel secure in what they're doing so i just wanted to put that at the end um but overall i would say that this, this was quite a productive day i mean i've had more productive days over easter i've had less productive days um i've i have found with a level as a general rule that you really don't ever feel like you've covered enough because at GCSE it was kind of like go through the revision guide okay I know it um, but I've got myself into the mindset this year where I'm expecting to remember every single little thing I revise when I don't need to um, but that's okay because I can only do my best and I really can say that I've literally worked my ass off this Easter um, but I hope this was useful uh, I'm sorry for the amount I've talked in this video um, 
I'm not, now. Nah, I'm not even going to apologise. Okay, this is getting really long now. If you want me to do another one of these in study leave, then please give this video a thumbs up. And if it gets to 4,000 likes, then I'll know that you want another one. Um, and leave comments down below for some more video suggestions. Um, if I've got time between now and exams, I'll try and upload on here a bit more. And yeah, I'll see you later. Bye! Mwah!